and in religious congregations where abstinence is always been a uh, part of the tradition to teach them to be obs- to be faithful to be obstinate now young people are being made aware of this as the religious leaders are wa- raising their voice on uh, this subject there is good response i would say we are not doing it all alone uh, just only hiv positive or aids we are combining this with female feticides which is another big issue because before a girl girl child is born they abort the child because with sonographs and all that you find out this child is a girl child female child and then they abort and the ratio between men and women uh, in many states in india is appalling you know it is 750 to 1000 men and this is going to cause huge problem in the coming uh, decade because then you know there will be sex crimes there will be rapes and there will be all sorts of uh, you know social crimes and disarmony in society so to prevent this right away we are using the traditional methods you know uh, in villages they have this faith that if you take a pinch of salt and you take a vow and you will follow it through for your whole life you know taking a vow with a pinch of salt in your hand and you drop it in a pot Uh, in a earthen pot so volunteers go village after village with a bowl of salt and a pot of uh, and a mud pot and ask people to take salt and now you promise right away and you're not going to come in female feti side and you know this has been a very encouraging thing that uh, the result you know, the response from people have been very very good. so in a short period, period of time about a month and a half we could get promise from 100000 people just two volunteers going around explaining to them what would be the problem in the society if there is an imbalance between male female ratio so combining aids awareness program with female feticides or drug and alcohol abuse Uh, you know i feel is much more effective and religious uh, community people are much more comfortable doing it rather than taking only aids as their subject uh, in india we, we have a saying that says you know uh, you can't eat pickle all by itself you have to have some rice along with it <laughs> so a combination of several projects i feel will make things work better because the people who have stigma only they have to come out of stigma unfortunately what happens people who do not have stigma they come and attend the meetings which are purely hiv aids awareness program but those who really need to be there they are so scared to come for them to hook them in for to bring them into this program it is essential for us to have a broad band wide band wide range of subjects then this uh, could be induced inducted to them and they go back saying yes i stand up for hara means uh, hara also means in, in hindi greenery you know the abundance plentitude so it becomes a, a viable project when we do like that and i would like to uh, see that such similar projects are taken up um, in other parts of asia south asia and also africa that we go to the rural areas rural masses and convince them and go along with their tradition whatever their tradition their belief systems are move with them and make them aware thank you very much for that.